Hello everybody and welcome to Tiger Tales The Lost Stories, a place you'll find stories and fan fictions written and read to you by your host, me, Ty Tiger. Today we're diving back in to the Marvel and DC fan fiction universe, or the TMDFU for short. So we're diving back into our Marvel and DC universe, which means a brand new story. I'm looking forward to this one. This one's ground level, or street level, for those who like the cases are our street level heroes. This is going to be something similar to that. Now, of course, make sure you go check out the playlist on both Tiger Tales The Lost Stories and Tiger Tales. Of both channels have stories intertwined with the Marvel and DC fan fiction universe, and they're all integrated into one massive universe and ongoing storylines. In both playlists, you'll find the story chapters in chronicle order. So let's dive in. The Streets of Brooklyn, Chapter 1. Train Off the Tracks. At a skate park in Brooklyn, the Fangs were a gang made of late teens, wearing all black. They sat there chilling out. They were a few people in the street gang, but the main four teens that led them were always found at the skate park when they weren't doing what they had to be done. There was Hattie, a 17 year old girl with blonde hair in two pigtails. She wore skinny jeans that had several holes in them. She wore a black jumper that had a rock band on it. The second part of the group was Lanzo, an American Jamaican boy, a black skinned kid who rocked a head of long dreads. He wore combat trousers and a plain black top. The third member was Kalani, an Asian girl who had one side of her head shaved with the other side long enough to pass her face. She had black knee length skirt, a black top with netted sleeves. The fourth member was me, Uncle Theo. A boy with light brown spiky hair, a black jacket, and a black pair of shorts. The four leaders all sat there chilling. I cannot believe we have a new Spider-Man, I sighed. Please, you're just bummed it's not you, Kalani mocked. Damn straight, I'd love to go thwip around. I'd steal all the hot dog vendors' hot dogs and give them to the homeless, I stated, mocking the, uh, the Spider-Man's actions. Dude, you'd eat them, and that's theft, Lanza replied. We all chuckled. Then, one of our members came strolling up to us on his bike, pedalling as fast as he could. He came to a sudden halt, hopped off the bike, and then stood there, panting. Guys, we got a problem. A big problem, the man guy said. Dude, chill, what's going on? Hattie asked. Train, came off the tracks, crashed into the building, the boy said. Get to the point, I barked. No, literally. The Stark train came off the tracks. It's caused a whole bunch of wreckage. People trapped in all sorts. It crashed into the bottom level of one of the buildings. The boy explained. We all looked at each other with shock. The new train that circled around New York in memory of Iron Man had came off the tracks and caused a massive disturbance. Why are you telling us this? Kalani asked. Because our rival gangs are grouping up to go help sort through the rubble, give out rations and stuff. The boy said, still trying to catch his breath. Oh, crap. Hattie sighed. I took the moment and thought about it. We were still on summer break, which means the bigger gangs would still find it hard to group up as most of the gangs were spread across New York. But the fangs were strictly in Brooklyn. I thought it through and I came to a conclusion. I say we go help, I said. What do you mean? Why would we help? Lanzo snapped. Think about it. We get to help Brooklyn in our home. Plus, put it on this way. We get to uphand on those idiots in Queens and Manhattan. We get to have some spotlight, I said encouragingly. We get to uphand on the other gangs, Hattie said with an evil grin. Okay, fine, Lanzo sighed. I think it's a good idea, Kalani smiled. All right, then let's get out, I called. I then ran up one of the tallest skateboard ramps and stood overtowering the Fang members that were scattered across the park. All right, guys, listen up. The start train has come off the tracks and crashed into a building. There's a lot of rubble, which means casualties. Rations are being spread. The community will be on thin ice. People scared. The police, the firefighters are working, but they need help. They need hands. People that can do stuff. It's our chance to make the fangs known to Brooklyn. We can help, but also get the upper hand on those other gangs. So grab your gear and we're moving. I called out. I raised my hand up and everyone cheered. They grabbed their bikes, skateboards and roller skates and headed off. Hattie leading the charge. Our grower, known as Ski, came up to me. Yo, uh, what about our deliveries? Ski asked. Mask on. 
keep to the tunnels, hide most of it in the wall, get a few grams, and make it the usual deliveries to the elderly smokers. Everyone else can wait, I told him. Ski nodded and then took off on his bike and pedaled off. I then grabbed my board and jumped on, following the rest of the gang. We reached the train wreck. The first three carriages had completely came off the track and the beginning of the train had crashed into the first floor of the building. Smoke filled the skies. Fires ensued to roar. Firefighters were putting them out whilst moving the rubble and they were trying to fire on the survivors. There were big social tents put up with tables of food and water bottles. There was a first aid and medical tent up as well. Guys, split up. Make sure everything has a fang on board, I ordered, and the fangs all separated, going across the entire area, offering aid to those in need. One of the police officers clocked me and walked up to me. Theo Thomas. Why am I not surprised? The officer said with a blank expression. Hey, we're here to help, I sneered. The fangs want to help? I, the officer chuckled at me. Well, I'm saying this, and uh, you're pulled thin. You have roped in several officers who don't know Brooklyn. You don't know these people? We do. The elderly, the kids, they all know us. You just see us as a gang of hooligans. We are the community. You may not like it, but the fangs are here to help, I said sternly. The officer let out a long breath and then leaned in. Okay, fine. But no illegal business, thank you, the officer said. Then he walked off with his eyebrow raised. He pointed a finger in my face before uh, walking off completely. He stopped, turned back around, walked up to me and handed me a walkie-talkie. He then walked off in a half. I then smiled at him and I turned to the big pile of rubble. I started climbing up the bricks. I pulled myself up onto the small mountain of bricks and looked around. Hello? Anyone around here? I yelled. I jumped onto the fallen train carriage and found a broken window. I hopped into the sideway train and landed on the opposing window. The whole thing was dark, but I could still see. Hey, can anyone hear me? Anyone at all? I yelled out. I was met with no response. I then walked ahead and found an opening. I looked up and realised the rubble had caved onto the next train carriage. It was the front one, the one that went into the building. I crept and shimmied under some of the rubble that was being supported by some of the poles. I minded my head and managed to get to the other side. As I crept out of the dangerous makeshift tunnel, I then was met with a man who was being crushed by the rubble from the waist down. I grabbed the walkie-talkie. Hey, this is Theo, the leader of the fangs. I found the train conductor. He's being crushed. He needs help. I barked into the walkie-talkie, but I was met with no response. Then the man started coughing. Hey, <laughs> you're okay. Dude, wake up, I asked. The shipments... <coughs> the man croaked. Pardon? I replied. The train was moving boxes, <coughs> loaded with dangerous items. The train was attacked. The man coughed as he passed out again. I stood there confused. I then headed back the way I came. I climbed out of the train window and stumbled down the brick mountain. Hey, I need a medic. Please, I found the conductor. He's trapped. I barked. Several medics came running up to me and told me off for going into the train alone without support gear i relayed the route though and took in the train carriage and the medics went in i then ran and found lands and kalani sorting out canned foods yo yo we got a thing i said under a lack of breath what do you mean lanzo asked i found the conductor and apparently there was dangerous items on board this was an attack i hushed what an attack attack so these people were after the items kalani muttered yeah we got a problem Lanzo said, pointing at the medic tent. We all looked over to see some of our members starting a fight with some people wearing purple clothes. Another gang suit of the Manhattan gang known as the Painkillers. Ah, oh, crap. I grunted. Then we ran up to the fight and myself, Carney, and Lanzo jumped in the group and I jumped in front of the member of the Painkillers. Man, back off. We're just trying to help. I ordered. No, 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 no. You most likely started it. The guy barked. Back off. I mean it. I growled. Then one of the painkillers pulled out a pistol and aimed it straight at me. Do not be an idiot. There are police officers everywhere. And you're scaring the injured young uh, ones, you muppet. Kalani yelled out. The painkiller grunted and slotted his gun in his waistline. Then he stormed off. Damn, yo. Yo, Lanzo. Find out if any of ours have any weapons. Guns confiscating off them. Knives only. Keep it safe. But I mean, no one pulls them out unless desperate. Are we in agreement here? I asked. Agreed, Kalani and Lanzo nodded. Then he told some of the other members and they went to go spread the message. Then suddenly Hattie came running up to us. Guys, you need to come and see this right now. 
Hattie said with a creepy grin. The rest of us shrugged and followed Hattie. She led us across the road to the entrance of an alleyway, and there was a rather large box there. What the hell's this? Lanzo asked. I was sorting out the ass end of the train, getting the belongings out and stuff. I found this locked crate, but due to the crash, it got busted open. I found this large ass box and, well, <laughs> check this out. Hattie grinned. She then looked around, opened the lid, and revealed the content inside. It was four items in the box, hidden in shredded paper. Holy crap. That's some hero shit, Kalani chuckled. Easy, guys, we can't y nick this stuff, I said. Why the hell not? Hattie grinned. We ain't superheroes or villains. We're just... I started. Just kids, scum, street thugs, Hattie replied. Suddenly, a gunshot echoed behind us through the street. I looked around and saw someone with a pistol. It was on the painkiller members. A police officer laid on the ground. Then the other painkiller members all starting out pulling out pistols and submachine guns. Dude, we're fucked. We just took off everyone's guns, Lanzo or huffed. No, but we have these. Hattie said with a small grin. Okay, fine. Grab something and we'll use them. We'll deal with these jackasses, but we've got to return them afterwards, I ordered. I agree. These things look dangerous, Kalani told me. Everyone reached into the box and grabbed something. We all ran into the middle of the chaos, but the painkillers aimed their guns from the police officers to us. Time to be a hero, I guess, I muttered. We all stood there back to back, facing off with the painkiller gang. And there we have it, guys. Our first introduction to the streets of Brooklyn. This is more of a street-leveled gang war sort of storyline. And don't worry, the four items that got pulled out of the box will be revealed in the next chapter. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what you guys think. That being said, make sure you go check out the rest of the Marvel DC crossover universe. On Tiger Tales, we started off there and it's continued here. There are, there's more grounded storylines here, but there are plenty of storylines, so make sure you go check them out. There's lots of different Marvel and DC storylines to boot. Make sure you check out Tiger Tales in general, Tiger Tales Game Over, and Tiger Tales The Mysterious Origins. There you'll find all sorts of original stories and fan fictions to boot. Make sure you check out the tiger nexus podcast i started a podcast where i'm interviewing content creators make sure you check out that too on youtube and spotify thank you all for watching don't forget to subscribe and of course i'll see you guys real soon